Now, I know that they've talked about releasing woolly mammoths if they ever do make them in Siberia, right? Well, um, so probably it would be somewhere in North America. Maybe that's why Trump wants Greenland. <laughs> For mammoths. <laughs> I mean, mammoths really need a lot of the lush, vegetation. Yeah, yeah. So I yeah, think maybe maybe right. not. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> but you know, there's plenty of space in Alaska, right, or, or northern Canada, or even oh, around the plains. I mean, mammoths lived through warm periods and cold periods. Right. Obviously, they're cold adapted because they're big and furry. I'm not worried about the mammoth population getting out of control. I mean, these are animals that take 10 to 14 years to reach reproductive maturity. They have a two-year pregnancy. It's it's not like right. they're suddenly going to be a thousand mammoths. Right. right. Uh, this will be a very slow and deliberate and careful process. And like with the direwolves, there will be a stage in between the first calf being born and understanding how they're able to thrive in whatever habitat they're in. And these are really important parts of the de-extinction process. I was blown away when I heard that mammoths lived up till about 4,000 years ago on an island. Yes, uh, Wrangell Island off the coast of Siberia, but now maybe even maybe even in mainland North America based on that environmental DNA data. Isn't that crazy? That's crazy. Yeah. That's well, crazy. Well, I, I did well, the really... horses were 4,000 years, right? In that data, horses and, and mammoths. mammoths. That yeah. was 4,000 years old too? Yeah. Wow. 